first alternative for step 3 is to draw your own graticule on the inserts with the help of a parallel rule. This method is sometimes called pre-marking. Mark the horizontal centre line on the lens inserts of the frame and draw a vertical line at the monocular PDs, marking off each 2mm above and below datum with a fine-tipped pen. With your client's head at the same level, note the point that is level with the centre of the pupil. Check your measurement by engaging your client in conversation and continuing to note the relevant marking. The second alternative is two small seg height rules, which are positioned in the bottom rim of the frame and clip around the top rim. Note that seg high rules can only be used for full rimmed frames. With your client's head at the same level, note the point that is level with the centre of the pupil. Here the dispenser is engaging the client in conversation whilst assessing the heights. A third method involves a gauge called the height measurement system. This gauge clips onto the frame and the scales can be wound up and down until the top of the scale is in line with the reference point, which in the case of progressives is the centre of the pupil. Unlike the other tools, the Y-Stick 2 has a parallax error compensator, which allows the dispenser to be at varying eye levels. Place the Y-stick on the frames and align the bottom zero mark to the bottom of the frames. After returning the frame, ask the client to stand in a relaxed, natural posture, looking straight ahead. From the side, lightly touch the brake arm to lock the swing assembly. Once the brake arm is locked in place, the Y-stick has aligned the pins to the client's natural position. Once the pins are visually aligned, it shows the dispenser is viewing at a line of sight with no parallax error. The dispenser then looks across to the grid to see where the pupils are dissecting. Finally, we have the eye point gauges. With your client's head at the same level, place the top circles on the gauges to be directly in front of the pupils. Check your measurement by engaging your client in conversation while observing the gauges in relation to the pupils. The mirror is given to the client to hold like a book while looking at the circle on the mirror. The dispenser views the circle in the mirror to assess if the pupils are aligned with the lower circles. If they are not, the dispenser needs to move the gauges in position for alignment. 